fire departments respond to garage fire, two seriously injured in Sheboygan accident, Earth Day turns 50. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. One more person, someone between the ages of 60 and 79, tested positive for COVID-19 since yesterday, raising the Sheboygan County total confirmed cases to 45. The state added another 121 cases for the tally of 4,620 Wisconsin cases of the coronavirus. 12 cases here are still active and three of those are now hospitalized, while 31 have recovered. Another 19 test returns were recorded with that number now at 689. A look at data outlining the total number of tests administered over the last 10 days shows no clear regular trends in the rate at which people are referred for testing. Most days we are in the 15 to 20 ballpark range between April 10th and 20th. The extremes were on consecutive days. One additional person was tested between April 15th to 16th, but 23 were tested overall the next 24 hours. Overall, nearly 94% of those referred for testing have been negative for the coronavirus. The data was derived from the daily reports issued by Sheboygan County Public Health. The Badger Bounce Back program to reopen Wisconsin had broad attention in yesterday's update. A graphic outlining the program and supplied by the governor and the Wisconsin Department of Health Services was included in that daily update. Crews from eight departments responded to a garage fire that broke out in the town of Wilson early Wednesday morning. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says that they got a 911 call shortly before 2 a.m. When, and when deputies responded to the property on Highway 28, one detached garage was on fire and it spread to a second garage. Fire crews were able to knock down the fires before they spread to the home nearby. Although the siding of the home did melt, the garages were both completely destroyed. There is no word on a cause. Even as many await the arrival for more spring-like temperatures, another spring condition has arrived right on schedule, and it is not a good one. Wildfires in Wisconsin are most likely now through May, according to the National Weather Service. Gusty winds, low relative humidity, and dry grasses have all combined to raise the risk of a fire, and in response, Governor Evers on Tuesday declared a statewide state of emergency. Evers' executive order provides whatever assesses are needed and makes the Wisconsin National Guard available to provide added personnel and resources to help in prevention, emergency response, and recovery operations. Over 150 wildfires have occurred so far this year, and the largest one consuming 234 acres of Juneau County just last Saturday. With sports shuttered for the rest of this academic year, the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association has canceled the spring high school sports season. The vote considered a formality was 10 to 1, and the WIAA says 30 days of summer contact will be allowed for spring coaches if they include seniors. Acclamation acclimatization rules must still be followed and contact must follow the governor's orders. Coaches for spring sports can also continue virtual coaching until the end of the respective state tournament. 
The WIAA's medical consultant advised that Wisconsin would need to be in stage three of Governor Evers' Badger Bounce Back plan for this fall sports season to start on time. Stages one and two of Evers' plan require social distancing that would make practices and games impractical. Two people were seriously injured in a crash in Sheboygan's late Saturday night. Police were called to an intersection of 10th and Erie around 11 p.m. An SUV was westbound on Erie Avenue, and while the vehicle was stopped at the light, a car driven by a team from Kohler hit the SUV. Both the driver of the SUV and the teen who was driving the car were treated and then hospitalized with serious injuries. The cause of the crash is being investigated by Police Department's Crash Reconstruction Unit. And finally, Earth Day turns 50 years old today while celebrating the outdoors might seem hard to do. While we are still isolating ourselves indoors, the UW Green Bay has lots of virtual ways to appreciate the natural world. Wisconsin Senator Gaylord Nelson first proposed the idea to hold a na nationwide environmental teach-in on April 22, 1970. That first event was renamed Earth Day, and Nelson was eventually awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his work. Fifty years later, Earth Day has evolved from a U.S.-centered observance to a global event observed in 141 nations. UW Green Bay, which includes Sheboygan's campus, has organized many events that are available online, including virtual nature walks and online presentations by professors in Earth-related fields. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Friday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.